capture of sea fish is a livelihood for millions of people living along the Indian coast. Every year, the number of troll fishing boats is increasing. However, fish catch is not increasing as expected. The eel from our seas is stagnating around 3 million tons for several years. See, we have been over a period of time continuously reducing our mesh size to gain maximum output from the sea. In that way, uh, we have been catching juvenile uh, species and that has led to destruction in the sense that a lot of species have now become almost extinct. What we were getting at, a, at some, some years back those fishes are not available simply because the size of the fish has been reduced by using the smaller mesh size over a period of time. Every year, India exports fishery products worth more than rupees 8,000 crores. This forms nearly 3% of a country's total export earnings. The fishing industry, therefore, is an important source of foreign exchange. It also provides much valuable protein food to our people. Among the maritime states, Gujarat is the leader in production. It contributes on an average 18% of India's marine fish production. The major fishing method in Gujarat is multi-day trawling. Troll is a conical bag shaped net dragged along the bottom. This net catches all fish that comes in its way. The fish catch is very good at the first glance. But a closer look will show a lot of non-commercial species and more importantly, juveniles in the catch. Troll nets with small meshes captured a very large amount of small and young fishes. The catch is wasteful and fetches very low price in the market. Let us see what happened at Varavul, the main fishing harbour of Gujarat. In the year 1998, each trawler used to land 76 tons. In 2006, the catch per boat came down to just 29 tons in spite of better fishing facilities. Why has this happened? What can we do to increase the catch rate to the earlier figure or even better? Yes, we can do that. How is it possible? The answer is very simple. Follow the methods of our forefathers. They caught only what was needed and gave back 
what is not a simple practice of live and let live People are against catching small fish which is unsustainable. Now, the fishing industry and trade, particularly foreign markets, will only accept fishes that are caught using sustainable fishing practices. This is to ensure that there is enough fish the future. FAO has brought out a code of conduct for responsible fishing which warrants the use of large mesh cod end in trawlers. The Gujarat Marine Fisheries Regulation Act stipulates use of 40 mm square mesh in cod end of trawls. But currently the fishermen use 10 to 25 mm mesh and trawlers. This is illegal. The fishermen use small meshes mainly because they do not want to lose large quantities of smaller fish. They do not want to lose money that they can get by selling these fishes. The fear of loss of catch and revenue by using large mesh net is not true. To prove this point, the MPEDA asked scientists of CMFRI and CRFT to undertake a study using legal mesh sizes. The scientists undertook the study for one fishing season from October 2008 to May 2009. The Troll Boat Owners Association of Gujarat willingly came forward and offered three trawlers for the study. 